morning. I went to a conference the other day and was privileged enough to be presenting some awards. One of my team members was there with me and when I went up on stage, he heard a woman behind me say, I bet she's scary. I'm going to urge you guys as a business community and my fellow business women to start busting some stereotypes and start culturing another way of looking at things. After all, I'm pretty sure it's 2014, not 1954. See, I have a pretty thick skin now, so I'm no longer trying to win friends, although I'm always hoping to influence people. However, there are many a fellow business person or career person of the female variety who's not so thick skins and words like this can hurt. There's a great Pantene advert out at the moment, the link is in the blog post below that shows this really well. Another example, I met Vernon Hill of Metro Bank, um, uh, the book writer of fans, not customers, uh, just yesterday. He said I clearly wasn't British as I was aggressive, an adjective that shouldn't sit well with me if I was confined by traditional stereotypes. But I am well aware of how forceful my demeanour can appear. People just have to deal with it. If a man is described as motivated, a woman is described as selfish. If a man's a boss, the woman is bossy. A man's direct, a woman is rude. I am scary and a boy doing my kind of thing would be assertive. Equally, when a woman shows a more feminine side, the occasional tear, a cuddle for a colleague or even nice outfit, where'd you get it from? Instead of the, did you see the football last night? They get equal eyeball rolls from our counterparts and are called weak, unfocused or sacre bleu, girly, the ultimate insult. These are big, fat, gender stereotype issues and for you evolved people out there, I suggest you start helping me smash this up. How? By countering these assertions and to stop pigeonholing women with the negative connotations of these very positive traits. And ladies, don't step back from a state or a trait for fear of how it will appear. Will it kill you if someone thinks you are a little bossy? Whose opinions matter? To me, the opinions that matter are my inner circles, my clients, my suppliers, my team, and my family. And whilst my team are respectful, they also know that I am driven, assertive, direct, and I'm definitely the boss. I'm also caring, empathetic, occasionally scatty, and totally human. And if you're wearing a great outfit, honey, I wanna know where it's from. So you can start today, stop passing judgment and stop judging yourself. As Dr. Zeus says, if people mind, they don't matter. If the people matter, they don't mind. Go kick some butts. It's okay to be brave and bold. It's okay to be human. Ignore the detractors, be genuine and kind and go get them. Go have a super week.